हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आर चैनल टुडे वी आर प्रेजेंटिंग क्लास थ्री साइंस चैप्टर फोर बर्ड्स सो लेट अस स्टार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आइडेंटिफाई एंड लेबल द डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ द बर्ड दैट हेल्प इट टू फ्लाई सो बर्ड्स फ्लाई विद द हेल्प ऑफ विंग्स ईट बर्ड्स ईट विद द हेल्प ऑफ देयर बीक and perch they perch with the help of their claws so we see birds flying in the sky they are feathered animals that live on trees they can walk hop run and fly birds have different body types and features they eat different types of food some birds eat plant parts such as seeds greens and fruits while others eat the flesh of other animals birds use their claws and beaks to catch hold and eat their food let us study the features of birds first of all beaks of birds birds are toothless animals they have beaks to eat their food The shape of the bird's beak is suited to the type of food it eats. So, let us see one by one. Strong, sharp and hooked beak. Birds like eagles, hawks, kites and vultures are flesh-eating birds. They are known as birds of prey. They have strong, sharp and hooked beaks to help them to tear flesh of other small animals so we can see strong sharp hooked beaks of an eagle a vulture and a hawk a beak is also called bill or rostrum next strong short and hard beak birds like pigeons finches peacocks and sparrows eat grains and seeds they have short strong and hard beaks to crack open grains and seeds so we can see short strong hard beaks of a pigeon and a sparrow curved beaks birds such as parrots and parakeets eat nuts and other hard fruits like walnuts they have hooked beaks to help them crack open their food we can see hook beaks of a parrot and a parakeet now let us see strong and chisel shaped beak birds like woodpeckers have sharp long and pointed chisel shaped beaks they use their beaks to poke hole into the hard trunk of trees and pull out insects to eat so we can see a chisel shaped beak of a woodpecker this is strong chisel shaped beak a chisel is a tool with flat steel blade with a cutting edge this is used by the person who makes furniture at our home name this person so this is carpenter c a r p e n t e r carpenter next long and pointed beak birds like hummingbirds and sunbirds also have long and pointed beaks to suck nectar from flowers they put their beaks inside the flowers to suck nectar from them we can see a long slender pointed beaks of a hummingbird and a sunbird next broad and flat beak water birds like ducks and geese have broad and flat beaks with holes on the sides these birds take in water through their beaks along with the water insects worms and some water plants are also taken in the water flows out through the holes while insects worms and plants are retained inside the beak 
we can see a broad and flat beak of a duck and a goose next broad and short beak birds like swallows have broad and short beaks which are sticky inside while flying these birds keep their mouth open tiny insects get stuck inside their mouths and the birds swallow them we can see a broad and short beak of a swallow a spoon bill has a spoon shaped beak the beak is used to collect tadpoles and other small water animals now what would happen if a hummingbird had a hooked beak so hummingbird takes nectar with it long beak if it is hooked it will not be able to uh, suck the nectar from the flowers so next are feet and claws claws help birds to walk hop run hold onto the branches protect themselves from the enemies and catch their food different birds have different types of feet and claws first flesh eating birds now flesh eating birds like eagles and vultures have very sharp claws known as talons they use these talons to tear into the meat or catch live prey like rats toad and small birds we can see an eagle and its claws now perching birds perching birds like sparrows manas crows and finches have three toes in front and one toe at the back The claws in the toes help them to grip branches or wires. So we can see a crow and its claws. So we can see three toes in front and one toe at back. Perching birds can sleep while holding on to branches. Next, scratching birds. Birds like hens and roosters have very sharp claws that help them to scratch and dig into the ground and bring out buried insects, worms and seeds. You can see a hen and its claws in this picture. Now, let us see climbing birds. Birds like woodpeckers and parakeets are climbing birds. They have two front toes and two back toes. The front toes point upwards while the back toes point downwards. These help them to climb on and cling to the trunks of trees. We can see a woodpecker and its claws. So there are two back toes and two front toes. Now what is an oar? Oar is a tool used to move a boat in water. What is the similarity between an oar and the feet of a duck? So we can see a feet of a duck is similar to oar. It help duck to swim. Now let us see swimming birds. Water birds such as ducks and swans have webbed feet that help them to swim in water. The three toes in the front are joined by skin forming a web. This web helps them to push water back while swimming. We can see a duck and its webbed feet. Now let us see wading birds. Birds like cranes, herons and storks have long legs along with spread out toes. These birds can wade through muddy water without getting drenched. We can see a heron and its claws. Next, let us see how birds fly. The body of a bird is designed in such a way that it can fly easily. It is shaped like a boat, narrow in the front and back and broader in the center. This is referred to as streamlined body. The pointed head and beak help the bird to cut through the air. Birds have hollow bones. This make their body very light and allow them to fly for a long period of time without getting A bird has wings that help it to fly. 
the wings are attached to the body with the help of a very strong muscles in order to fly birds move their wings in two types of movements upward stroke and downward stroke we can see upward stroke and downward stroke the upward and backward movement of wings is called upstroke the downward and forward movement of wings is called downstroke the tail of a bird helps it to change direction while flying so in this picture we can see a bird in flight first we have upstroke and then we have downstroke now checkpoint 1 state true or false first birds are toothless this is true second a vulture is a seed eating bird this is false because vulture is a flesh eating bird third a duck has holes on the sides of its beak so this is true fourth herons have very short legs this is false because they have long legs a bird has a very heavy body this is false because they have very light body a bird can fly using its wings this is true now let us see feathers of a bird wings of a bird are covered with feathers feathers are an important part of a bird's body birds have three types of feathers body flight and down feathers feathers are soft and fluffy and keep the bird warm we can see a body feather a flight feather and a down feather let us see one by one body feathers they cover the exterior of a bird's body these feathers often have bright color patterns body feathers give shape to the bird's body now flight feathers these feathers are large in size they are found in the wings and the tails flight feathers are used for flapping providing balance and changing the direction during flight next down feathers these are small soft and fluffy feathers that are present under body feathers they help to keep the bird warm a newborn bird has a lot of down feathers now let us see nesting habits of birds unlike human beings who give birth to babies birds lay eggs many birds build their homes called nests birds build nest to lay eggs the nest are built at safe places usually when one parent sits on it to keep the egg warm and hatch it the other parent goes in search of food or protects it from enemies such as snakes after a set number of days the egg shell breaks open and a baby bird comes out this process is known as hatching the parents feed the baby birds until they are strong enough to fly we can see in the picture wow just like our parents have got a house to keep us safe birds make nest to keep their babies safe as we can see a nest in which birds had laid eggs now let us see how birds build nests birds collect things like twigs leaves wool cotton straws thread pieces of cloth and paper they use these things to build their nests in places like trees terraces and wall cavities let us take a look at the nests of some of the birds The tailor bird uses its beak as a needle to sew leaves with materials like wool and thread. This is the reason why it is called a tailor bird. It also uses cotton, wool, dry leaves to make its nest warm and cozy. We can see a tailor bird and its nest in the picture. The weaver bird uses twigs and grass to make a very beautiful and strong nest. The nest hangs from a tree and is made by weaving the grass in and out. The nest has a tunnel-like opening at the bottom of the nest which is used by the bird for entering and exiting the nest. We can see a weaver bird and its nest in the picture. Now next the swallow builds its nest using its own spit 
The nest is made attached to rocks or wood and resemble the shape of a vase. We can see a swallow and its nest. The woodpecker builds its nest inside the trunk of a tree. It uses its beak to create a hole inside the tree. We can see a woodpecker and its nest in the tree. A penguin lives in ice. It collects pebbles and small stones to make its nest on the ground. We can see a penguin and its nest. So these are some birds and their nests. Now check point 2. Unscramble the letters to fill in the blanks. Dash feathers are found in birds wings and tail. So these are flight feathers. F L I G H T. Flight feathers are found in birds wings and tail. Next birds will dash to lay eggs. So this is nests. N E S T S. Birds build nests to lay eggs. The dash bird uses its beak as a needle to sew leaves with materials like wool and thread. So answer this tailor. Tailor bird. T A I L O R. Tailor bird. Next. Dash is a process in which the eggshell breaks open and a baby bird comes out. So answer is hatching. H A T C H I N G. Hatching. The dash bird uses its own spit to make its nest. Answer is swallow. S W A L L O W. Swallow. Swallow bird uses its own spit to make its nest. Now keywords. Talons. Sharp curved claws of flesh eating birds, perching of birds, sitting on branches of trees and wires by gripping their feet, streamlined, narrow at the two ends, broad in the middle, upstroke, the upward and backward movement of birds wings is called upstroke, downstroke, the downward and forward movement of birds wings Hatching, the coming out of a young one from an egg. Now summary, birds are toothless feathered animals. They have different feeding habits. They have beaks and claws to catch hold and eat food. Birds have different kinds of beaks that are suited to the types of food they eat. Different birds have different types of feet and claws. A bird's body is covered with three kinds of feathers, body feathers, flight feathers and down feathers. Birds have special body features that help them fly. Birds have a streamlined body, wings, hollow bones and strong muscles. Birds will nest to lay eggs. Now, objective type questions. A. Take the correct answer. First, birds have beaks that help them to First, eat. Second, this bird has a strong, short and hard beak. So answer is pigeon. So A pigeon is correct answer. Next, third, the sunbird has a dash beak. So correct answer is C long and pointed beak. Fourth, the dash has webbed feet. Correct answer is D. Duck. Duck has webbed feet. Fifth. The dash has a tunnel like opening at the bottom of its nest. Answer is Weaver bird. A. Weaver bird has a tunnel like opening. Now name the following. This bird has a very strong, sharp, and hooked beak to tear the flesh of other animals. Answer is eagle. E A G L E. Eagle. Second, this bird has a short, strong, and hard beak to crush its food. Answer is pigeon. P I G E O N. Pigeon. Third, this bird lives in ice and makes its home using pebbles and stones. So, answer is penguin. P E N G U I N. Penguin. 
foods. This bird has sharp claws that help it to dig into the ground and bring out buried seeds and insects. Answer is hen. H e n hen. Fifth, this bird weaves the leaves in and out to make its nest. Answer is tailor bird. T a i l o r bird. Tailor bird. So tailor bird weaves the leaves in and out to make its nest. Next. C match the feet claws of birds with the type of words so we have to match column A and B have sharp claws known as talons so this is flesh eating birds second claws help them to have hold on to branches so C perching birds claws help them to climb on and cling to the trunk of a tree so 3 is matched with a climbing birds feet help them to push water back while swimming fourth is matched to e water birds fifth claws help them to dig into the ground and bring out insects and seeds so this is matched with f scratching birds circle the odd one out to give reasons first hawk sparrow vulture so sparrow is odd one out because sparrow is grain eating bird whereas hawk and vulture are flesh eating birds second crow heron and stork so odd one out is crow because heron and stork has long legs whereas crow has small legs third parrot hen and rooster so parrot is odd one out because hen and rooster are scratching bird tailor bird weaver bird penguin so here penguin is odd one out because tailor and weaver bird make their nest in the trees fifth duck peacock and pigeon here duck is odd one out because it is water birds peacock and pigeon are not water birds sixth sparrow mena and heron here heron is odd one out because it has long legs whereas sparrow and mena has now unscramble the letters and define the birds also give two examples of each first is talons t a l o n s talons like vultures and eagles have talons second webbed feet w e b b e d f w e t webbed feet like ducks and swans has webbed feet third is beak b e a k beak like we have long and pointed beaks and some are hooked beaks fourth is perching birds p e r c h i n g b i r d s perching birds like sparrow and crows are perching birds second short answer questions first why do eagles have strong sharp and hooked beaks because they are flesh eating birds so sharp and hooked beaks help them to tear the flesh second why do ducks have holes on the sides of their beaks because when ducks intake the insect etc from water then water go outside from their holes name two wading birds so wading birds are heron and storks and scratching birds rooster and hen are scratching birds fourth what are flight feathers flight feathers are under body feathers of birds which help them to fly fifth what is hatching when young ones come out of the egg then this is called hatching so friends this is class 3 science chapter 3 birds so friends if you like the video then please like and share the video and do subscribe our channel thanks for watching the video and keep watching for more such videos thank you